Good morning, everybody. The Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, I'm sure that you've followed a few people here recently. Uh, you know, if you look at the Bearded Vortex channel, you can see that he's talked about this. Um, I'm going to talk about it a little bit for those of you that haven't watched Anthony's channel. If you haven't watched it, you should go check out his channel. Bearded Ford Tech is his name. Um, there is a system called a gasoline particulate filter. And in the gasoline particulate filter system, there's a different, there's a couple different ways that the system can be run. Um, one of the ways is the gasoline particulate filter uh, can be standalone downstream of the catalytic converter so you'll have a catalytic converter with an upstream and downstream oxygen sensor but then downstream of that system you'll have a gasoline particulate filter that has a differential pressure feedback sensor and it will monitor the pressure upstream and downstream of the gasoline particulate filter and then there's another system where the gasoline particulate filter is um, integrated in the the system with the catalytic converter. It's got the GPF sensors upstream and downstream and the oxygen sensor upstream and downstream. It can monitor both. At first they were just going to do it with the, the 2024 Lincoln Nautilus. But we actually see that there's a V8 engine in the training models that show... Uh, like a 5.0 liter coyote uh, with dual catalytic converter GPFs integrated in one. So it will be in the Mustangs, it will be in the F 150s. Don't know if it's going to be 2024, but they already sold the model. I'll show you what it looks like real quick. This is the simple system that has one uh, pressure tube before and then one in the middle that can sense the pressure difference, and that's how it knows whether or not it needs to be in regen. This here is just a basic system of what it looks like. Catalytic converter upstream, GPF downstream. Pretty simple setup. Uh, the other system I seen, it was where the GPF and the catalytic converter were integrated as one. And it was upstream where the catalytic converter would be on uh, the locations of the typical 5 liters anyway. Uh, you know, I think people say European cars have had a system like this for a long time. Uh, the problem is that the more stuff changes, the more the government kind of gets on emissions controls, the more they try to push the EV stuff, the harder it's going to get for us. They're trying to push these manufacturers to clean up as much as they possibly can. And then once it becomes, uh, once it gets to a point where we can't afford these systems and stuff when they break or malfunctions out outside of warranty or, um, it just becomes too restrictive for the manufacturers to make the vehicles the way that they do that there's going to be this more stringent uh stronger push for ev how the system works is it will collect a certain amount of particulate and it can filter it out because gasoline exhaust temperatures are typically about 200 degrees celsius higher than um diesel exhaust temperatures and if the system needs to it can uh, run a regen without the vehicle actually driving if push comes to shove and it still can't complete its regen it will start fucking with the timing and it will make the vehicle run a specific way so the filter gets what it needs to if it's not meeting what it needs to keep that deep that gpf cleared out on the gasoline engines that's the gist of it. I wanted to share the new system coming out in 2024 with you guys, and I hope this in some way helps explain things to you a little bit better. Have a great day. Be blessed.